Praise the Lord I want to welcome all my brothers and sisters around the globe especially on Pray TV I want to welcome you people of God I am Pastor Daniel Maksud all the way from Pakistan and I just want to welcome my brother all the way from Azerbaijan Pastor Sam how are you I'm good thank you Muhammad so how are you? <laughs> so I am great by the grace of God and now I'm going to talk uh, with my brother uh, from another mother. My brother is really nice guy, uh, all the way from uh, Turkey, uh, Azerbaijan. We thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ who gave us opportunity to uh, talk with him and uh, talk about the word of God. So today I am excited uh, to talk with my brother. Brother, how you feel today? Good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm and good. Uh, uh, tell me about uh, your culture in Azerbaijan. You know, so the culture of Azerbaijan actually it's a, it's, it's a combination of many cultures because you know we have people from uh, different places. Um, so that's why I, I mean uh, Azerbaijan is very hospitable. You know, and welcome to Azerbaijan. In any case, if you want to come and visit Azerbaijan, we're very open for you. for any of you. You can come and see us. You know, to, to understand the culture, to understand the culture of any country or or, a, or a, of any nation, you have to go and visit. You know, so that's why the only thing that I can say to you about the culture of Azerbaijan, we, we are very very hospitable. We are open for many people, and so we are we are welcome. Come and see. Yeah, praise God. Uh, so, uh, Pastor, uh, talk about uh, your church uh, in Azerbaijan. Your church is really uh, doing wonderful things in Azerbaijan and you just uh, sending people in different areas to start business and help them. So what do you think uh, about people who need to uh, start business in Azerbaijan? Um, Azerbaijan has uh, opportunities to have a business, but um, if your heart for Azerbaijan, if you really want to, uh, as a Christian, actually, you know, our goal is not about the having the business or having the money. Yeah. So because business is the tool to bring the gospel to the people. So that's why, you know, we cannot go to any place if we do not have our heart for these people. For example, I can't go to Pakistan if I do not have my heart for Pakistani. I cannot go to Africa if I do not have my heart for the African people. Mm. So that's why if you have a heart for Azerbaijan, you are welcome, and you can come, and God will open the doors for you. Yeah. God will provide the way for you to have a business because, again, business is just the instrument, it's just a tool for you to bring the gospel to the people. So that's why you are welcome. Yeah. You can, you have have chance to do many kinds of businesses here in Azerbaijan. And again, it depends on your heart. And your mind and your direction. Tell me about your church name and your so, work in Azerbaijan. Yeah, actually, we are. I'm full time pastor, and my name is Pastor Sam, and I'm a pastor of a small house church, and we are about twenty people, and uh, we are multi denominational. We are multicultural, evangelical church. We are English speaking church, but at the same time, it's a, it's a preaching English. We have the people who translate to translate me into the local language. So that's why we have people from different nations. We, of course, have a people from Pakistan. Yeah. We have people from India. We have a people from Philippines. We have a local people. Yeah. And you know, I the one thing that I really want to say it's about that uh, God loves uh, every nation, mm. and God's uh, heart for every nation. You know, yeah. so that's why I believe that Azerbaijan is also for Christ. You know, uh, maybe people do not understand it, but one day, as it, it is written in the Bible, every knee will bow down and then Amen. Christ and say, it is the only Savior and Redeemer. Praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor, tell us about your life story, your testimony. You know, actually, <laughs> my story is big. Like, mm. uh, I haven't seen any... Uh, dream, and they had, I didn't see the, even the face of Jesus. But shortly, um, the one thing that I, I really want to tell you is about that God found me. 
you know, uh, when you ask me about tell me your story, I think we have a different stories, but we have the same God. Ah. We have a different stories, but we have the same uh, Savior and Redeemer. And one of the things that I really want to tell you, I just want to give you the example of the Samaritan woman. You know, uh, Jesus knew that one day the Samaritan woman will come to the well. And right. It wasn't the Samaritan woman who came first to the well. It was Jesus who came first to the well and was waiting for the Samaritan woman. Right. You know, so uh, uh, ringing and, 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 and pushing you to wake up or get up. It's a Jesus who is coming to your bed and Hallelujah. is waiting for you. Okay, so Jesus is the one who is always, every single day, is waiting for you. Uh, <clears throat> and the only thing that you have to do is just the... Uh, um, come to the Jesus, you know, and with me too, uh, or with the prodigal son, in, in the end of his life, he realized that actually when he left his house, he realized that he left the kingdom of father, okay? Yeah, and yeah. then when he was on the way back home, his father was waiting for him. Yeah, so yeah, his, yeah. his father, every single day, his father knew that he will come. So he was waiting on the hill, uh, on Amen. the hill, okay? He was waiting on the, on the top, you know, so that's why, you know, my story was like uh, <clears throat> when I uh, was, when, when Jesus was introduced me, you know, uh, through one uh, guy, he gave me just a brochure, some booklet. And then uh, that time, is what, it was in 1995. And, uh, no, sorry, it was 1994 or end of the 1993. Yeah. You know, it was winter time. And one of the guys, and gave me booklet. And when I took this booklet, at that time, the one, it was very hard to, to find anyone who speak, uh, who speaks English. Yeah. And that time, if you were in Azerbaijan, and I asked him in English, and he was surprised. And then he started to tell me the story that is written in the booklet. And I took this booklet, and I came home, and I just left it, put it, uh, just leave it, left it in, in, in the vase, you know. And year later, or more than a year, uh, one of the lady invited me to the church. Yeah. And then when, when I came to the church, actually, for my understanding, church was like a building, like a normal Orthodox or Catholic mm. church. Yeah. But I, when I came to the place, it was like a huge hall with a stage, with musicians. And I was like surprised, is it the church? And she said, yeah, this is the church. I said, okay, let me see. You know, because again, I was thinking that I would see them some bishop, some some someone with a huge cross on yeah. his neck, you know. But I yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a normal <laughs> yeah, church, normal people. And what I want to tell you, and I was surprised. I was really surprised because in a few minutes, when the worship team was invited to the stage to start the worship, I really was shocked because I saw the guy among this group of people who gave me the book. Can you imagine the guy who gave me the booklet and explained me Jesus was in this stage? I mean, year later or more than a year later, God again brought me to, to the church. It means that God always prepared the way. That's why the Bible says that I'm the way, I'm the truth, I am the light. So God, Jesus prepared the way for me. It wasn't me, it was Jesus. You know, it wasn't my idea, it wasn't I. You know, it was Jesus who... Who, who, who brought me to the church, but he knew my heart, and that's why he prepared the way for me. And I was on the way more than a year. You know? And then when I came to the church, I was really, really shocked. Like, hey, it is the guy who gave yeah. the booklet. I, I, I didn't read this booklet. Yeah. I yeah. left it at home. But a uh, year later, I came to the same church, and I was shocked. And since, I'm there. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm with Christ. Praise the Lord, you know? man of God. The man of God, now time to share the word of God. Uh, tell me about uh, uh, how to prepare our uh, self in Christ. And uh, please uh, tell us about the uh, real uh, story and real word. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I just want to encourage you with one short message. Uh, actually, I already started with the message sharing my, yeah, yeah. my testimonies. But, you know, uh, it really touched my heart. Actually, we, we know that uh, uh, Bible's uh, Bible full of encouragement. You know, when we read the Bible, 
uh, Bible is the book of the peace. You yeah. Know? So when we read the Bible, and, and especially when we read the Psalms, you know, you can find the, the peace, you know, because Psalms and, 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 and the whole Bible directs you to the, to the, to the God, you know, and the, this is the difference between the, the, the Christian and, and other religions, you know, because uh, uh, in, 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 in Christianity, you can find the peace because the Christianity is the, is the, is the, is the faith. I don't want to say it's a religion. It, mm. it's, it's a faith of the, of the, yeah. of, of the peace. You know, so oh, what, one God. thing that I really want to encourage you, I know I really want to share with you and encourage you, it is about the, uh, it's from Romans, I mean, chapter 8, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's in Romans chapter 8, verse 35, and I will jump to 37. 37, okay? yeah. Yeah, so Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to, 37. Then, no, no, 20, uh, 35 and 37. And it says, I'm going to read from Good News Translation, okay? Who then can separate us from the love of Christ? Can trouble do it? Or hardship, or persecution, or hunger, or poverty, or danger, or death? And I jump to 37. No, in all these things, we have complete victory through him who loved Amen. us. Amen. Okay, so the Bible says that who can separate me from the love of God? Who can make it? Who can who can do it? You know, and then it described. You know, of course we have different kind of uh, translations, but this translation can uh, says that <clears throat> can trouble do it, can hardship or persecution or hunger or poverty or danger can do that. No, in all the things we have complete victory for Him who loved us. Mm. My, 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 my brothers and sisters, the message says that we have complete victory through him who loved us. Okay, it's not I who came to Jesus and said, I love you. It is Jesus who came to me and said, I love you. So John 3, 16, yeah, God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son that everyone who believed in him would not perish, but will earn or have eternal life. But the more important part is 317, not just 316, 317, that there's no condemnation. Because all condemnation got put to the shoulder of the Jesus Christ. So that's why anything in this, nothing, sorry, nothing in this world can separate me from the presence of the Lord in my life. No hunger, no poverty, no danger, no death. Can separate because no, death, as the Paul says, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is the way to God. Oh, <laughs> praise God! Yeah? So, in, in, in all true. things, that, and then 20 again, uh, let me repeat the 37. In all these things, we have complete victory. We have complete our victory is completed. Oh, praise through, God! Uh, through Christ who loved us. It's not my work, it's the work of Jesus Christ. Yeah, and everybody knows about it. When Jesus went to the cross, his last word was finished. Finish means I, I complete. Yeah, yeah, I complete yeah. Completed. Completed everything. Everything. Uh, you know, you are a victorious man. And the only thing that you have to do is just to follow instruction as it is written in Joshua 1.8. You know, Bible is the instruction, the book of the instruction, hmm. you know, to, to edify you, to direct you. Yeah, 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17. You know, hmm. you just need to follow the instruction that the Jesus gave you. And my brother and sister, I really encourage you, don't stop with your salvation. Take this salvation to the world. Because Jesus, it was command of Jesus. Matthew uh, 28, 19 to 20. And uh, Mark 16, 15. Go to the world. Spread the gospel. Make disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I will be with you till, till the end of the life. So then, the beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega is Jesus Christ. So go to the world. Spread the gospel. Know that Jesus is with you because he already victorious man in this victory he gave to you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Sam. Uh, we love you. And uh, I, I just uh, feel uh, about you. You are a blessed guy. And uh, you are a blessed man of God, spirit-filled man of God. So, uh, Pastor, uh, please uh, pray for people of Pakistan and around the globe, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Azerbaijan, and 
uh, different uh, continents uh, they live uh, so please pray for people of uh, every nation so uh, yeah. kindly do it amen with my pleasure so father let's, yeah let's let's pray <clears throat> father god we are so grateful that you gave us this chance to uh, speak to you and then to listen to you father thank you so much that you opened the way for us and we are able to come to your presence 20 hour 24 hours seven days father thank you that the gates of heaven are open for us thank you that there's no any obstacles there's not any barriers we are able to come to your time to your presence anytime and we are blessed with your presence in us father and thank you thank you that we have this opportunity to know you thank you that you gave us chance to know you and thank you that every single day we are able to know you father but there's one thing that we would like to ask you. Use us as an instrument on your hands, uh, in your hands. Use us as a, as a tool in your hands and take your gospel, take your message of peace to the world, to the, to, to the people of Pakistan, to the people of Bangladesh, India, Africa, um, Europe, Asia, uh, Caucasus. Father, we just ask about it, Father. We are here to to do your work. Father, you use your disciples. You, you use your people, Father. But now it's our turn. So we really want to be used by you, Father. So teach us how to bring your gospel to the people and use us to take your gospel to the people. So Father, we bless every nation uh, of the world and we ask you, Father, just protect them, Father. Be with them. Show them your compassion. So, uh, your compassion. So show them your love. Show them your mercy, Father, and bless them. Father, we know that everything is possible for you. We pray for, for those who are sick. We bless them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Father. Whether they're, uh, uh, physical, uh, they have physical illness or, or mental illness or spiritual illness, we just bless them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and we speak healing to every heart, to every mind, and we speak salvation to the, to the, to the, to the nations, Father. And we bless the nations. We bless the rulers of the nations, Father. And we just bring them to your presence. And we know that, Father, that one day, every nation will bow their needs and, and start to glorify your name and, and, and speak loudly that you are, the, you are the Savior and you are the Redeemer, Father. So again, thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity that you gave me to, to speak to you through this uh, prayer TV. I bless everyone who involved in this process, who involved in this channel, Father. Bless the ministry. Bless the people. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Wonderful time, brother. Before leaving, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Please, uh, before leaving, last words. What would you like to say? I'm sorry? Last words. God what, bless you. <laughs> yeah, last last words. What would you like to say? Uh, One line. Last word that I like to see. Last words. Uh, God bless you. <laughs> okay. God bless you. God bless you. Take care. <laughs> God bless you. Uh, God bless your family. Have a blessed day. Have Thank you. you.